This is August 19th of 2019. This is for the YouTube channel, Knowledge for the Glory of God, is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as Luke chapter 22, verse 32 says, is to strengthen the brethren. And like you already know, brethren means sisters too. Okay, so obviously keep what's relevant and toss out the rest. Now I'm going to be talking about the importance of understanding. Okay, and believe it or not, there is a lot to say about it in the Word. But we're going to skim the surface. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to keep the airwaves um, perfectly fast. And I ask you to touch everyone within the sound of my voice. That they write these scriptures on the tablet of their heart. And that they learn of you. Learn of your mercy, grace, and your free gifts. Learn of the salvation that you offer in Jesus' name. Okay. First, let's take a look at Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. These are all King James Version. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. I put my fingers in my mouth. Four, verse seven. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Wow, that's like a big revelation, um, a big exhortation too. So, what you want to glean from this is. With all thy getting, get understanding. Okay? Get understanding. Okay? Uh, to understand the Bible, you must first begin at the cross. But what we're going to do right now is look at Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you. We give you praise and glory. I ask you to help me to find these first, find these fast. It's right in front of me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, Jeremiah 33 and 3. Once again, my pages are sticking together. But that's okay. Holy Spirit's going to help me. Let's see here. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. I think that is awesome. That's a promise. I'm sorry for the shaky camera. It's up on a little, uh, little small little bed table. Because it's quiet up here. Okay, so that's what an awesome scripture. He's telling you there to uh, call on him, and he'll... He'll tell you things you didn't know. So what is understanding? Now, the biblical uh, definition of understanding is the word understanding is translated from the Hebrew word bin, B-I-Y-N, that's B-I-Y-N, from the Hebrew word. Okay, one of its derivatives is used 247 times in the Old Testament. I found that interesting. That's how important understanding is. Okay, occasionally the word L-E-B, L-E-B, L -E -B, will be rendered as understanding. It also is used for heart or uh, mind. Okay, the heart and mind will be rendered in the context where the rational rather than the emotional is stressed. Interesting to know how these writers write, huh? So let's look at Job chapter 8, verse 7 to 10. Job chapter 8, verse 7 to 10. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, to put me down here where I can see you. Job chapter 8, verse 7 to 10. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Right here. Job chapter 8, verse 7 to 10. Though thy beginnings was small, 
yet thy latter end should greatly increase. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. For we are but of yesterday, and know nothing, because our days upon earth are a shadow. Shall not they teach thee, and tell thee, and utter words out of their heart? Hallelujah. And you're going to find that here, too. You're going to hear the word of God. You're going to hear the words uttered out of God's own heart when you get into the scripture and start studying it. So from Webster's Dictionary is defined as a mental grasp or a comprehension. Um, the power of comprehension is to, is especially in the capacity to apprehend or uh, uh, general uh, relations of particulars. So you, it's, a, it's the power to comprehend. Uh, the power to make express experiences uh, intelligible by applying concepts and categories. That's another. It's archaic. It's a knowing and intelligent. Okay. It's endowed with understanding. Means to be tolerant and sympathetic. But like I said, those are uh, more archaic terms right there. So how do you obtain understanding? The real understanding will come as you realize the interdependence of study and prayer and as you maintain a commitment to serve while you are learning and as you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you remember Proverbs 7 or Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. With all thy getting, get understanding. That's just powerful. He's telling us to get understanding. Put it in our hearts. This is why I keep saying write scriptures on the tablet of your heart. Even David said that. So as we study and research the scriptures, we'll discover that first we start with our intelligence that we were born with. Okay, then to our add to our intelligence, we'll add knowledge. And see, as we search the answers and study and educate ourselves, okay, um, to knowledge we add experience, which should lead us to a level of wisdom. Praise God. So in our in addition to our wisdom, we add help of the Holy Spirit. Now here's where you gotta ask. Um, how do we add the Holy Spirit? Okay, you know this more than likely. You pray, you pray in tongues, you walk in the spirit, which means you do what the spirit tells you to do, you do uh godly things, you uh you ask in prayer for faith, for strength, and for guidance. The more you get into the word, the more you read, study, pray in your prayer language, pray for other people, do good works. You know, listen to the Holy Spirit, the more Holy Spirit will speak to you. Awesome. Hallelujah. So by doing these things, we can then reach understanding. Okay, we reach understanding in our heart, which motivates us to do the right thing. Amen. Okay, and the, the feeling of an understanding heart gives us uh, a sweet spirit of assurance and not only of knowledge but that we're doing the right thing during whatever circumstance it is okay these understandings is in close relationship to prayer uh, faith study and experience okay this leads us to proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 proverbs chapter 3 thank you father Verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lead not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. He's telling us not to uh, lean on our own understanding. Man, awesome. I want God to lead, guide, and direct me. Praise you, Father. So let's read uh, all of, uh, actually all of chapter 3 is what I would like you to read. But we're going to look at verses 4 to 8 and then verse 13. So we're going to look first at Proverbs chapters 4 to 8. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lead not unto thine own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. 
Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Amen, amen, amen. And it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. I'm going to make you strong when you look at the, keep your eyes on Christ. And look at verse 13. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. Happy is a man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And there's more scriptures to talk about uh, understanding, obviously. Um, so happy is a man that gets understanding. I just awesome. Praise God. That's for sure. Praise God. Okay, so look at let's look at Proverbs chapter two, verse six. Proverbs chapter two, verse six. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Hallelujah, and believe me, you need it, and you should want it, and you should desire it. The word says to desire all the gifts. And you know what? They're free. Desire all the gifts. Go after all the gifts. Ask for all the gifts. In Jesus' name. Um, so. Uh, so then, then we can see. So then can you see. I can see. Can you see the importance of having Holy Spirit indwell in you with the evidence of speaking in tongues? Okay, we're going to look at Matthew chapter 10 verse 19. Matthew chapter 10 verse 19. Matthew chapter 10 verse 19. But when they deliver when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak. For it, it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's so important to have him. Ooh, wow. So let's define the word shall for a second. Okay? It's in the first person. And it is expressing future tense. Okay? So, like I'm saying, this time next week. Okay? So... And it's expressing a strong assertion or an intention. I will, I will. I shall, it shall be done. I shall be at the train station. I shall be at class. I, you know, it's a strong exhortation. Uh, an insertion is a strong insertion that you will do something or you won't do something. So in other words, shall means certainly will certainly will okay it's a former old-fashioned and it's used as something that certainly will or must happen okay that you determine something will happen it is awesome so word shall means certain so in conclusion we're going to look at matthew chapter 7 verse 24 matthew chapter 7 verse 24 Therefore, whosoever heareth these thing, these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. Hallelujah. And I want to be that wise man that trusts in Christ, trusts in my Savior, Jesus Christ, and uh, builds my house on a solid rock. And how do you do that? The only way that you can do that is by accepting Christ, the Son of the only begotten Son of God, and the Savior of the world, your Savior, the only one that's going to save your soul. In Jesus' name. And then we're going to look at Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 and 18. Ephesians. Chapter 1. 17 and 18. Ephesians chapter 1, 17 and 18. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Hallelujah. 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 I praise God for that. I praise him for his... Uh, his mercy and his grace, his salvation, 
his written word, his which is our road map. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to reveal your mercy, grace, wisdom, understanding to us. Give us your glorious gifts, all of your glorious gifts we ask for. Make us vessels worthy of your use. Give us your revelation, knowledge, and experience. In Jesus' precious name, amen.